Hey guys, welcome to January's video. Today we're going to be talking about sales and actually what that really means and it's not as scary or crazy as it sounds. I'm Matt, this is SJ and we're going to be talking about photography business success. So, sales can seem really scary, and I think for a lot of us, we just think selfish, pushy, not very nice salesmen. Really important thing here is that we're actually giving our client something that they need. Now, they may really not even realize that they need it, but actually, we're just making sure that they've got access to all the information. And quite honestly, and something SJ taught me a few years ago, was that quite often sales is purely just making sure that people are aware of something. Now, it's really easy to get confused with features and benefits and, and, and pushing all the different ideas. And if you, you go to a shop, you'll see lots of products that sell the features of that product. For example, we, we went ahead and bought a uh, food blender to make smoothies recently. And one of the blenders said 600 watt, the other one said 1000 watt. And I had no idea what the difference was. It didn't mean anything because they were just leading, listing the features. Now, the actual important benefits of that was that the 1000 watt processor all of a sudden can make the smoothies really fast. It can make sure that it doesn't overheat and set on fire. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> hope, hopefully not. But those are the benefits to me. My smoothies are going to be made real fast. I can just do it really easily. That's what the benefit is, and that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to make sure that we're not looking at features, but we're looking at benefits. How do we make our clients' lives nice and easy and better? So along these lines, we went to Iceland earlier this year, which isn't really my preferred holiday destination. I like a nice hot tropical beach somewhere, but Matt is Viking in origin and prefers the colder climb, so we braved it and went to Iceland. So we went to get our rental car, and the guy at the rental car place, he was saying, now you need to be very aware that the weather in Iceland is very extreme. We can have sandstorms, like grit storms, which will just take the paint right right off the car so you need to be very careful especially if you're driving around the south of the island check the weather first he also said you need to be very careful about the wind here in Iceland it's very strong and it will suddenly gust very strong and it will take the door straight off the car if you're not careful to be opening the door into the wind and I'm like thinking thank you so much for letting us know I felt so valued and I just felt like he was just telling me this purely for my benefit, um, and then five minutes later he pushed the form forward and says, oh and by the way we have insurance for sandstorm cover and we have extra insurance for wind damage, and I, I was, I never take extra insurance on a rental car, and even I was thinking, oh, oh Matt, I think this is really good, I think we should consider getting this insurance, and it's because he'd sold me the benefits and made me aware of my need to have, to have that insurance, and I I then was a lot happier to pay the extra for the insurance. So as you can see from that story, it's not purely about educating our clients. You'll see all over the internet people saying, oh, you need to educate your client to make sure they see the value in what you do. And that does have a little bit of mileage. But what's really important is that we educate people in what the potential pitfalls and problems might be. It's all about making sure that the client knows how we are going to make their life better. Quite often we think sales, we think sleazy car salesman, we think pushy, we think con artist, we think people who call us up on the phone trying to sell us something during the day that we really don't need and we don't care about. It's all about con artists. That's really not what we should be thinking. When we say sales, we should be thinking, how am I making sure that the right person is matched with the right product? That's all sales ever should be. We are being helpful. So our consideration purely should be for them and them alone. Not whether we can make some money or whether we can make a sale. It's purely about them. So the question really becomes, how do I benefit them? What that I do makes their life better. So really we need to think about how we can apply that to our photography businesses and how we can actually incorporate that into our success. So for example, how many of you get very frustrated with clients that are slow to confirm their booking, slow to fill in their booking form, and you end up running around chasing people, not knowing, do I keep this date? Are they going to book? And then I, don't, I get another inquiry and I don't know whether I can take it or not. 
And so the temptation is to approach the customer with our needs. Um, so we're saying, I need you to confirm if you are going to, to book this date because I need to know if the date is still free and I will lose out on income if I don't get, you know, if I have to turn other work away and it's all about me, it's my benefit. So what we're talking about with this sales technique is turning everything on its head that everything is for the client's benefit, even if actually there is a big percentage that is actually for your benefit, <laughs> you sell it that it's for their benefit. So for example, when we are wanting to chase people up with their booking forms, we say to them, uh, initially we say to them, um, do let me know if you'd like to book because available dates get booked very quickly and we hate to disappoint. So immediately we're putting this idea, we, you need to confirm if you want to book very quickly for your benefit because you will lose out if you don't confirm your booking. We give people 48 hours to complete their booking process um, and if they haven't completed their booking process or maybe they've only done half, they've, they've sent the deposit but they haven't done the contract or they've signed the contract but they haven't sent the deposit deposit. We then email them back and just say, just to make you aware, it is the contract and the booking form that secures your, your date. Um, if we don't have both, your date isn't secure and we would hate for you to miss out if somebody else got uh, booked your date before you. Um, and again, it's just coming from this point of view. It's for your benefit. You are going to lose out if you don't confirm your booking. And approaching it like this, we never have any problems with people confirming their booking. We never have to chase anybody and the very rare times that we do have to chase people they will pay or sign their contract very very quickly because we've 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 spoken in a way that makes them realize it's for their benefit even though actually it is largely for our benefit because we cannot be running around trying to remember who's booked and who hasn't booked and who's confirmed and who hasn't confirmed and we don't want to get to the wedding day and suddenly realize the person hasn't signed their contract or we never actually got the deposit so they haven't pulled paid the full amount or anything it's actually um, making our working process process more efficient. So the same principle totally applies for things like album sales, mm -hmm. the same principle applies for things like pre-wedding sessions, uh, it applies for increased print sales if you're doing a portrait session. What's the benefit of selling a longer yeah. portrait session than a shorter one? So you could do a 45 minute or you could do a 90 minute portrait yeah. session. What are the benefits to the client? Why is that a good thing for them? Not for you, for them, because yeah. of course we want to make more money because we want to make sure that we're feeding um, ourselves and our kids. But what's important is them. It's not about us, it's about them. So remember, no is okay. So if we, uh, we quite often ask a couple, you know, would you like to buy an album? Something like that. No is okay. We don't mind no. that. That's absolutely fine. We just need to make sure that they're aware of all of the options, that they've got the information in front of them, and they can make a decision. So really, it stops becoming second... Uh, hand car salesman, pushy and trying to you know sneak the sale in and, and all that sort of stuff and it all of a sudden it just becomes about helping the client, making yeah. sure that they know what they want um, and what can benefit them. So during the next month you'll get some uh, follow-up about these principles we've talked about in this video. We're also going to be doing a worksheet and we want to do that together. So join the Facebook group, um, jump in, uh, get stuck in with the questions, maybe share some of the thoughts that you've had. If you've got any comments or questions for us, do please email them to us yeah. because it's really helpful for us to know what's going to help you guys the most. Cool guys, well thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.